Alright, before I start today's process, I would like to tell you about the Tenorshare for you key. This tool can help you to fix various kind of iOS screen lock, whether it's a passcode or disable MDM lock, screen time passcode, unlock Apple ID from the open menu. So you can check out the description link for complete information. For example, I have this iPhone and I forgot the Apple ID password. Now I will download the latest software file and make sure your device having the passcode and the 2FA is on. After that, proceed further. Now wait for the process to complete. Now you can see it's done. Follow the instruction on the tool, enter the passcode and set up the device. So now you can see it's done. So if you are interested, check out the description link or the website for more information. Alright, now let's continue today's topic. So hello everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the latest and fast way to check the exact iOS version of your iPhones, iPad or iPod Touch, any model, whether it's a passcode screen or a disabled screen, you can check it the exact iOS version on every iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. This is the very useful video for all those who want to know the exact iOS version for the passcode or disabled bypass process or sometimes we want to perform a specific bypass on specific device and we don't want to update the iOS version and we want to know the exact iOS version of the device sometimes we try to guess the exact ios version of the device by seeing the default wallpaper of the i device but you cannot guess the exact ios version but things got tricky when you get the device with a custom wallpaper or another wallpaper that is not related to your stock device wallpaper and then you need to guess the exact ios version so this video will help you in that case so we can use this method and easily get the ios version details on your windows machine with a single click last year on my channel i've made a specific video about this topic but that video is for mac os user in that i have explained the check -in method to get the exact ios version in the diagnostic mode but for windows user there is no exact method but now for you guys i came up with a windows direct method as well all right first you need to go to your windows machine next you need to download one package file that is the lib i mobile device it's a library that can help you to connect with your i device in a different way through your windows machine this library framework written in the c language and it's very useful for your i device if you want to do some operation and connect with the i device like ssh root connect or other i device recovery information and you want to use the packages this library is must for you you can use it easily on your windows machine if you guys know about the bypass tool or you are a developer of the bypass tool you probably see these libraries in the tool source code as these are important library packages that will help you to connect with your i device including in the bypass process all right now for First you need to download these compiled source files. You can download it as zip and make sure you only download from this github page. If you use from the official website, maybe that will not work for you. So you can download it from there only. After that you will see this file. Now simply extract it with any zip extractor. Now you will get this folder. Now open it. Now here you will see so many libraries like iDevice Recovery, iDevice Info, iDevice Status and ID. So there are so many libraries that are available here. If you want to know more or study about these libraries, you can check out the official website, go below and you will get all the information there. Alright now if you want to know about the exact iOS version from your passcode or disable iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, like any model, like if you have an iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can use the same method and easily get the exact iOS version. You only require one library to extract it so I will show you how you can do that first of all you need to put your device in the special mode that is the diagnostic mode all right now to put your device into the diagnostic mode I have mentioned the two method one that will work for iPhone 8 8 plus iPhone X and above up to the 14 Pro Max like those iPhone don't have the physical home button that having the one category and the other iPhone or iPad model that having the physical home button and other process for the lower end model like iPhone 6s 6s plus lower to the other iphone that having the physical home button so you can follow these kind of categories according to your device firstly i have a iphone 8 that don't have the physical home button now for these kind of devices you need to press the two button combination that is the volume up and volume down firstly make sure your device is completely off next you connect with a cable after that you need to immediately press the volume up and volume down button and keep pressing it about to 15 or 20 seconds after that you will see the special diagnostic mode also side by side you can open the three tools so that you will get an indication whenever you connect it so let me just connect with a cable and you can press it the volume up and volume down for iphone 8 and above to the 14 pro max so first press the volume up and volume down at the same time after that insert the cable after five to six seconds you will see the apple logo 
and keep pressing those two buttons about the 15 to 20 seconds. Also on the 3U tools you will see connecting iDevice please wait that means you are good to go and then you are just wait for that diagnostic mode screen. The 3U tool information will not show as it's a special mode so it will not directly connect with the details and show you on the 3U tools. It just indicate you iDevice is connecting please wait. After that you can release those button and sometime you will see some USB error just ignore it as sometimes the iDevice recovery error will not detect your device so just reconnect it after that you will see the diagnostic screen keep your device connected and if you see your device is not charging and not detected just unplug and replug your device after that you will see your device is charging and then we are good to go now next go to the libi mobile library folder after that you need to open the cmd in the current directory you can open the cmd and give this current folder path or best way just type the cmd there and after that you will see the cmd is open in the same folder now we are good to go now next we need to call one library that is the idevice info that will give you information of your idevice completely including your exact ios version now drag and drop idevice info.exe to the terminal so you can see that this is the file just drag and drop after that you will see the on the terminal now give space and type hyphen s so i will just repeat it one more time for easy now first of all you need to drag and drop the idevice info.exe to the terminal after that give space and type hyphen s now you will see this is the kind of command you need to type next you need to hit on enter and then you will see all your information of your device including your exact ios version in the screen so you can see that it's so much easy and in some cases if you press enter and the command will not respond and it will show nothing that means your device is not detected it. so solution is just unplug and replug your device and after that hit on enter and you will get the exact is version and other important information on your device on the cmd terminal and if you want to come out from this mode just press the exit diagnostic on your iphone after that your iphone will be reboot to the normal screen you can see like how much easy is this way to get the exact is version and other useful information of your iDevice in the passcode or disable screen now the first stage I've shown you is for iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone X up to the 14 Pro Max like these iPhone don't have the physical home button. Now we will talk about those iPhone that have the physical home button and the older model like iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 5s and other lower models of the iPhones or iPad. Now for this step I have a iPhone 6s it's in the passcode screen so first completely off your device. Now the diagnostic button combination for these older model that have the physical home button that is the volume up and the home button you need to press both the button continuously about to 15 to 16 seconds and after that you will see the diagnostic mode screen now press the volume up and home button and after that insert the cable and keep pressing it so let me just first press it keep pressing the volume up and the home button also for the easy way you can open the three tools side by side and whenever you see i devices connecting please wait then you can release those button so it will be easy for you if you want to make it in the first attempt So you can see that on the 3U tools you will getting the connecting i device please wait. Now you can minimize the 3U tools. Now open the CMD again. You can see that I am on the diagnostic screen. Let me put the phone aside. So now just run that same command again. Just drag and drop the i device info to the terminal and give space and then type hyphen s and after that you will see your information of your i device. Now sometimes the library will not connect with the device properly so just reinsert the cable, unplug it and replug back and after that hit on enter and you will see your device info. So let me just replug it. Now hit on enter and now you will see the information of your iDevice including the iOS version. So it's very old iOS version that is 13.6.1 running on my iPhone 6s. And you will get other information that is very useful that is the mobile identifier bluetooth and wi-fi address and other model number and serial number of your device you will easily get all the information there so you can check out the terminal accordingly this way you can enter in the special diagnostic mode on your iphone as well as for the ipad or ipod on any model you like you just need to follow the same process like if you have a physical home button you can follow the second stage and if you have a non-physical home button like iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x and above to the 14 pro max you can follow my first stage and it will work for you 
I hope you find this video useful for you or if you want to get some information from your iDevice, you can get it from a single click and get the results. So I hope you gain some knowledge through my videos. If yes, just hit the like button and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. Download links are in description or go to my blog. You can download from there. I will see you in another video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.